Welcome back to the Crypto Report, everybody. I'm Crypto Kip. Today, we're going to be talking a little bit about Crypto.com and the proof of reserves that are now showing on CoinMarketCap. Alongside that, Binance has also listed their proof of reserves. In case you didn't know, CoinMarketCap is actually owned by Binance and CZ. So that's something very curious. We're going to talk a little bit about that here in a bit. Also, some shots fired on Twitter. I don't know if you've seen this, but folks on Twitter are blowing up about what CZ said about Brian Armstrong's Coinbase today and some of the tweets they had going on. So we're going to cover some of these stories. We're going to talk a lot, little bit about what we think is going on here in the markets and what we can expect to come in this holiday week. In case you didn't know, it is Thanksgiving week. Happy Thanksgiving to you all. If you don't celebrate Thanksgiving around the world, thanks for joining us here today. Uh, if you haven't done so already, smash up the like button. Subscribe to the channel. We're doing four videos every single day. And when we hit 10,000 subscribers on the channel, we're giving away $1,000 worth of Bitcoin to one lucky subscriber. So you don't want to miss out on that. Guys, let's take a peek here at these crypto charts. To start, $800 billion market cap, Bitcoin at $16,000, Ethereum at uh, $1,100. In case you didn't see the dip the other day, look at this Bitcoin actually took quite a dip last night. Uh, and we had a recovery. A lot of people were fearful. Uh, people have been talking about that $10,000 Bitcoin level. We're just not there yet, folks. We're hanging in. Happy World Cup, everybody. Uh, by the way, looking at Crowcoin, where we're at today for Crow, uh, currently at six and a half cents, rank number 29. I still think we're getting back up to that 25 rank spot sooner rather than later before the bull market comes. But when the bull market comes, I'm bullish on all of it, folks, at least the good projects, that is. So let's get into some of these stories here. Let's take a peek at what's going on. Crypto Twitter, according to uh, Cointelegraph here, Crypto Twitter reacts to Binance CEO's deleted tweet about Coinbase's Bitcoin holdings. What's going on here? So earlier today, uh, and these are deleted tweets, folks, so it's kind of interesting because it just wasn't a good look for CZ. But uh, earlier today, CZ and Binance commented a little bit uh, in light of uh, the CEO of Coinbase tweeting a little bit about what they have going on and how much crypto they're holding. So here's what CZ said. So Coinbase custody holds 635k BTC for Grayscale. So that's, that's an accusation. Links an article. Four months ago, Coinbase, I assume the exchange, had less than 600 Bitcoin. Uh, just stating news reports, not making any claims. Glassnode probably has more up-to-date data. So uh, gently and not so gently firing shots at Coinbase and instilling doubt and fear aimed at Coinbase, which is something we've seen out of CZ before. And so the crypto community is getting upset. Uh, I, I, uh, somebody on Twitter earlier today tweeted this. The latest tweet by CZ made about Coinbase's Bitcoin holdings that he just deleted wasn't a great look. I get the argument that he's trying to protect the industry, but CZ is more than smart enough to know that the exchange and custody wallets are separate, which is a great point. You know, it's it sounds like he's spreading a little bit of FUD here. And somebody else went on to tweet, is CZ implying Coinbase's custody not does not hold one-to-one -one BTC on behalf of Grayscale Trust? CZ's latest tweet this is a concern I never had until now. This is a very serious question, implied accu accusation to ask. Um, guys, folks are talking about this on Twitter and going crazy. Um, you know, look at this. Um, guys, this is what everybody's talking about. Now, it's important to see that Brian Armstrong came out in defense of this, which is pretty interesting to see. If you see FUD out there referring to CZ's tweet, of course, Remember, our financials are public. We're a public company. So he had to come out and defend himself in light of CZ's tweet here. Um, earlier today, uh, he actually uh, had a tweet. Uh, Brian Armstrong had a tweet as well that said, if you see FUD out there, remember our financials are public. Uh, and then he had a link, which is here, with Coinbase's Q3 shareholder letter. He clarified that his company holds $2 million. Bitcoin, $40 billion worth of Bitcoin. So that's a really bold claim. And if that's true, well, that's very, very strong for Coinbase. And if it's not true, then it's not so good for Coinbase. But the fact that CZ would throw some shade at Coinbase is, is throwing some questions out into the community, okay? 
And this is a tweet that I want to share with you guys. This is the question you got to ask yourselves. CZ, and this is a tweet from 360 Trader. CZ just proved today he's all about one thing, his empire. He is not here to look out for the industry. He deleted the tweet. But now, as I already expected, he's exposed himself as a villain. People are accusing him of being a villain. And I'm not saying that, by the way, for the record. But it's something you have to start to look at. And you start to, you start to have to wonder, you know, the FTX collapse arguably happened because CZ tweeted that he was going to dump the FTX tokens, okay? Crypto.com and the bank run on Crypto.com arguably was getting going on account of this FTX news and CZ throwing shade without saying the name Crypto.com. He threw shade specifically at Crypto.com with some of the things he said in his tweets. If you don't believe me, go back to a previous video we did where we talk a little bit about this. Uh, I will link it for you right here. Um, but, you know, he's been throwing shade pointedly at certain exchanges. FTX, Crypto.com. He threw some shade now at Coinbase. And he backtracked it today because he can only get away with it for so long. Uh, you know, people are going to be upset. Now, I'm not saying he's a villain, but I do believe that he's trying to grow his crypto empire, folks. And I think one of the ways that he's trying to do that is throwing shade at other people. And why do I say something like that? Well, let's just look at CZ's Twitter real quick and see what's been going on um, over there. Looking at this tweet from earlier today, I know, well, this is from November 21st. At the time of this tweet, Binance had 5,900 people. Today, we have 7,400 people targeting 8,000 or so by the end of the year. He is focused on growth, which is spectacular. We want to see this. This is good. Hiring continues. By the way, I cheer on Binance. I cheer on Coinbase. I cheer on Crypto.com. I cheer on anybody that's doing uh, right by their customers and, and, and operating in an exchange, um, you know, in a positive way towards the industry. But guys, he's growing right now and they're continuing to hire. But look at this, even on June 15th, it was not easy saying no to Super Bowl ads, stadium naming rights, and large sponsorship deals a few months ago, but we did. So, you know, he's saying something positive about himself in this tweet back on June 15th while still kind of shooting shots at crypto.com and FTX, um, you know, and, and Coinbase and everybody. He's trying to compete. Um, and this is, you know, what he's showing. He's showing that he's growing. Also, they released a, <laughs> a reserve dashboard feature. So they are now listing their reserves and other exchanges are now listing their reserves on CoinMarketCap. But guys, I said this earlier, keep in mind, CZ owns CoinMarketCap. So it's going to be very interesting to keep an eye on this and see how they report this data and who gets to report their data on here. Hopefully everybody. Uh, but it's something we got to keep an eye on. Guys, CZ owns a lot of the market and he's growing and the exchange is growing and I think it's good for crypto, but uh, we want other exchanges to grow too, right? They talked a little bit about their gift cards, but remember, Brian Arm, and now he retweeted earlier today and he's walking it back. Um, this tweet from, from earlier where he threw some shade at Coinbase, he walked it back. He deleted the tweets because he knew it was wrong. He knew he was wrong. And now he said this, Brian Armstrong just told me the numbers and articles are wrong, deleted the previous tweet. Let's work together to improve transparency in the industry. That's the message that he should have right here. Let's work together to improve transparency in the industry. He's said many times that he wants to work together with folks. He needs to continue with that narrative for the good of crypto, because at this point, what the Twitter community is seeing is that he is attacking a lot of folks in crypto that are competing against him. And I understand competition, but we're looking to build an industry and we're looking to improve transparency and get partnerships in this industry and grow this community together. And the more he tries to knock other players down, I think it is counterintuitive to the goal here, which is to make cryptocurrency adoption happen a little bit faster. He's even tweeting about it now. Two, two hours ago, visited two new countries in the last three days. Adoption has not stopped. Well, let's keep this adoption going, guys, and let's not try to throw shit at each other. I hope CZ learned a little bit of a lesson here now that the crypto community jumped on his throat. Um, I think it's important that we hold him accountable and that folks, you know, like this, throw shade at him. You know, not that not to say that he's a villain, not saying that at all, but we got to keep an eye on him. And uh, he can't just be focused on building his empire. He has to be focused with, you know, the crypto community in mind and doing right by folks. All right, so another thing, uh, look, these are the reserves. This is the link that he sent on Twitter. You can see their proof of reserves, which is spectacular. But something to note, 
uh, they're not the only ones. So they actually uh, listed their data and other exchanges with proof of reserves, P-O-R information, including KuCoin, Bitfinex, OKX, Bybit, Crypto.com, and Huobi. So this is very good to see, guys. This is positive news. This is very positive news. I feel good here. Um, and I think, you know, we're waiting for a 2024-2025 bull run, uh, like we've been talking about with the Bitcoin happening every single day. And uh, we have an accumulation opportunity. And these exchanges showing their proof of reserves is spectacular for these projects. And they'll all grow on account of it. And anybody that does not show their proof of reserves, they're not going to be trusted. Um, so very interesting to watch this story, guys. But I uh, want to highlight for you, keep in mind, the, the FIFA World Cup's going on. Five billion users uh, could be, five billion viewers are currently watching this event. And you see the Crypto.com banner right there alongside on this uh, soccer field here on the football arena. Um, very exciting. So love to see this. Smash up the like button, Crow fam. We see our logo in this stadium. It's fantastic to see. Uh, but I also want to point out this is Chris Marsliak's Twitter, guys. He's not throwing shade at anybody. He's being a good player. He's focused on his marketing campaign. He's focused on building his community and building the, the success and the projects uh, that are a part of Crypto.com through this bear market, which is what all of us should be focused on. And let, you know, enough with throwing shade at other exchanges, folks. I think we need to all get on the same page. I'm not trying to throw shade at CZ. I'm trying to hold them accountable, guys. He's throwing shade at people. I don't like to see that. I want to see him get on the right track. I'm glad he deleted his tweet. It shows that he he knows he was wrong, which is a step in the right direction. So we want to see this community work together. We want all these projects to succeed. Folks, I think we are very close to a bottom. I think we're days away, maybe a month or two at most. So all we can do at this point is we can't predict the future, but we can predict what we're going to do. I'm going to start dollar cost averaging just like I've been doing, I start. I've been doing it the entire time. I'm going to continue because I know there will be another bull market. It will come. And the folks that buy now are the folks that'll come out of this thing on the other end with a heck of a lot of money. Smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel. That's all I got today. I'm Crypto Kip. This is the Crypto Report. Uh, and as always, guys, you got to remember to DCA HODL. We'll see you in the next one. Make sure you check out the links in the description down below. We have a Patreon coming. We're building a community. Make sure you check that out. Also, we have links to Femex. If you want to open up a trade, you can get up to $4,100 when you sign up for Femex using the link in the description down below. All you got to do is deposit some money in there. If you want to open up a long, maybe you want to short the market. That's your choice, folks. But be careful out there. Dollar cost average, folks. Have a great night and happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Peace.